Amazon listing optimization. Everybody's got to do it. You got to get that title, the bullets, the description, the A plus content, and all of these different fields correct. But there's some subtle optimizations that you've got to do that a lot of people just don't talk about. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm going to be walking through a bunch of listings and doing what I like to call the ASIN review. But if you want a freebie, Let's say you don't want to watch this video. You just want us to send free tips directly to you. Just go to myamazonguy.com slash ASIN and fill this out. And we will send you a 10 minute video custom for your own ASIN. Of course, we do want to sell you some services, but you get some free advice and it's our best stuff. We're going to put our best foot forward. So in this video, let's walk through some different listings. So I've gone ahead and typed in a misspelling of apple cider vinegar, vinegar gummies, if I could say that correctly. So let's fix that. And in here, of course, we've got the header, the guy who's undefeatable at 343,000 reviews right there, Mr. Goalie. I'm going to go through a bunch of different, different apple cider vinegar, vinegar gummies, and I have not looked at any of these listings ahead of time. That is intentional. And the reason I'm doing that is I want you to see how I go through each listing and optimize it further. And we're going to see if I can find pretty much everything you would do in a checklist to see if we could improve it. So when we look at this listing, the first thing that this company has done correct is put a giant photo cropped as tightly as possible. So when you go in and zoom in on this, see how big the image is. See how tight the white space, minimal white space on the top and bottom. You can verify this by putting it into any particular, uh, you know, photo program like IRFM. And you can see how tight that white space is right at the top and right at the bottom. And I, I really like this because it makes the item as big as possible. But do make sure you have some white space at the top and the bottom. So if we were to really zoom in here and scroll up, you can see that there is at least a couple of white pixels at the top. That's intentional because if you bleed across that line, you could cause a listing suppression. In fact, it's called a hidden suppression. And if you have one of those, your product can't be found. Somebody will search the ASIN and it cannot be located. And if that happens to you, I've got a guide on how to fix that. Just type in hidden suppression to Google. My video will come up first and you can walk through that guide. All right, so that's the first thing. In your image, you wanna have this to be at least 2000 by 2000 pixels. That's fundamental to having a, a well-optimized image. The other big call out that's done really well here is that the gummy is seen clearly right there on the bottle. If you're selling something consumable, you need to see it. Supplements need to show the pills. All items need to show what am I getting. This is also the case for accessories. If you have something that's not visible from the main image, you are doing a disservice to your CTR. That is your click-through rate if you don't have it in the main image. As you go through and see all these different secondary images, one of the most important things that they do here is show a person using the product, smiling, and most importantly, looking directly at the camera. That is so fundamental. Every single listing ever needs to have a person smiling, touching the product, and looking at the camera. This is the most missed opportunity that I ever see in secondary images. Fundamental, must be done, core best practice. Cannot emphasize enough how impactful this is for a listing optimization. Your customer avatar is right here. This is who is under your tent. Your target demographic is not anybody with a tongue. It is a specific age group, a specific sex, potentially a specific race, and a particular hobbyist, enthusiast, lifestylist, and you want to go narrow. To go narrow, you will generate more sales. You cast that wide tent, too many people are going to show up to the listing. They're going to bounce because they don't belong. They don't feel like you have given them the right product. So when you do listing optimization, you really have to go super deep on the meaning here. But at bare minimum, even if you can't get your customer avatar right, you at least better show them smiling, 
using the product and looking at the camera. Eye contact. Cannot emphasize enough. Eye contact. Okay, so that's a really strong thing that they've done here. Now the question is, does this makes sense. Your body will thank you. Not so sure. I think this is the weakest photo. I don't really understand what they're getting at. They're like counting it. We're yummy. Uh, okay, well, if, if you're yummy, don't tell me. Show me. What would be better in this image is if this gummy was right there on the tongue. Right there. Show me how yummy it is. Go, ah, 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 right? Like, put it on the tongue, stick the tongue out, and show me. Like, that's what this is trying to tell us, but doesn't depict it, doesn't show it. This graphic here is garbage. This graphic here is an A minus, but if you wanted an A plus, that gummy should be on the tongue, sticking out and showing me how yummy it is, right? Okay, so let's keep going. Cellular energy production, healthy nutrient metabolism, healthy immune system and heart health. This is telling me, not showing me. There's no picture of a heart or somebody holding their chest. There is nothing that depicts the science behind a healthy immune system. I don't see my stomach being touched with metabolism, and I don't see the scientific DNA of a cell being depicted on this graphic. So this is a tell me, not show me, weak sauce, C minus graphic. This graphic right here is very close to the stick it on the tongue. Health and simple though. They mismatch what needs to be done on this product, right? Like, so right here where they talk about yummy, but they don't put the picture of them eating it. And then over here, they're talking about health. I, I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It's a mismatch of the show and tell, completely mismatched and arranged, right? So the one thing I do like about this is we're seeing an attractive woman who's got the golly clothing item and there's a lifestyle and whatnot, but... Her eye contact, not looking at the camera, I give this a B plus. I think it could be significantly better, but it ain't bad at the same time. All right, so this image right here, wellness looks great on you, but we're seeing a shopping cart. Like, what the frick is this? Okay, this tagline right there belonged way better with this, right? So health simple, that should have been wellness looks great on you because she looks great. And it's like literally gully clothing. So we got a mismatch there. I give this graphic a D. It's terrible. It does nothing. I learn nothing about the product. I have no freaking idea what a grocery cart does. All right. Here we have the supplement facts. Unfortunately, in supplements, sometimes very common to have to use a supplements facts graphic. But I, I, I'm not going to grade this one because there's no good way to do these ones. It's just kind of a necessary evil. They have a video. Let's take a look. We're, the, nest, the nice thing is that they use the same person who's in the images. They tell a story. She's waking up. I'm eating it on the go. And then, oh, here's my next one. I'm taking a different supplement for a different occasion. I'm changing my clothes. There's a supplement with a different color for every occasion and different person. Video A+. Plus. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Could not have done it better on this one. All right. So as we go down the listing here, title. R in the title, bad move. You do not want to put an R symbol or a TM symbol. This is against best practices. In fact, if I were to report this listing and show the R symbol, Amazon would remove it. That's how, that's how bad it is. Probably not going to affect sales or anything like that, but they shouldn't be doing it. Apple cider vinegar, vinegar gummy. Say that five times fast. This is core keyword assessment. Obviously, these guys are best in class. They can get away with lots of different things. They could break all the rules and still probably do well, but it's all right. Three pack, 180 count. I'd probably stick this at the very far end of the title. I don't think it belongs in the middle because the keyword saturation, like the, the gelatin free, this is probably not even in the keyword data, probably useless. Gluten-free, nobody types in gluten-free apple cider vinegar, vinegar gummy into the chat. Like, that doesn't happen. Nobody cares about vegan. Nobody cares about non-GMO. All of this stuff is absolute trash. Definitely going to give you a C- minus on these words specifically. Made with essential vitamins, if we go back here. I do like this as a feature, but I don't think you need to actually say made with essential vitamins. Literally, just say B9 and B12. So this title could like cut half of the words out and, and replace them. Let's prove it. I'm going to go over to the keyword uh, list here, and we're going to look it up in Cerebro inside of Helium 10. 
Uh, by the way, if you want to get 50% off that, use my Amazon guy 50 to get your first month 50% off. And uh, we freaking love Helium 10's tool. Very, very powerful. So we're going to look at the indexing here. And, and of course, when we're looking at the number one in the category, we're going to see an absurd amount of indexing. 37,000 keywords index. An average listing is going to be more like 3,000. So don't compare on that. But the 2,400 sponsored products and 37,000 organic gives you a pretty good idea that most of these keywords that these guys index for are not sale producing. They don't help them. If they were, they'd be advertising on at least 10 or 15,000 of them. So realistically, this category is probably more like a 2,400 sponsored keyword, 5,000 organic target. And if I was going to launch a new product, I would be happy if I had 5,000 keywords indexed as compared to this data, just purely off the macro trend. So as we go through and look at this though, if we were to sort this by search volume and we try to find the most relevant keywords that could replace some of the garbage that's at the top of their search results, we'd probably wanna look at something in organic rank 20 through 50. This is what I call the keyword strike zone. These are words that will produce with minimal amount of effort. We do this in my Amazon guys, SEO phase three. Check out some of our content on that. There's 13,000 keywords that are in the strike zone weight loss, notice how they're in sponsored rank three and they're organic 36. Is this an important keyword? Absolutely. Is it really tricky to rank weight loss? Yes, because if you use that term, you may not be able to advertise. So this word's out. All the weight loss words are probably out. Login, no idea why these guys are indexing for that. Colon broom, that might be a brand name, don't know. Apple cider vinegar, they've got that in the title already. App, appetite suppressant for weight loss. Again, the weight loss terms and fat burners are super risky. I, I'm just curious if they even mention weight on the product. They are the number one in detox and cleanse weight loss products, but do we have that anywhere in the title or the bullets? Not at all. I think that's intentional. All right, so let's keep going through Cerebro, see if we could find something that they should have put into the title Fat burner, again, you're going to get banned from ads. So there's a lot of things you just can't simply use. But there's high demand for these sort of things. Apple cider vinegar capsules. So notice here the word capsules. So that's really interesting because somebody doesn't want to do a gummy. So they don't have the word capsule anywhere on the list here. So here's what I would do if I was them. I would redo the A-plus content. I give this A-plus content a B-. minus. It's very beautiful, it's aesthetically pleasing. We've got the woman who we've used in the other shots, but there's simply no text on the listing. Now, granted, once you're number one, you probably don't need additional SEO value, but if we were looking at the merits of the listing by itself, first off, this is kind of blurry, I think, based on what I'm seeing. The, the, the image that was loaded here is starting to get some degradation and that needs to be improved. So that's part of the reason why I don't like it. Also, there's no text in the A-plus content that's crawlable. A-plus content, 100% indexes. You need to put lots of juicy things in there. The keywords go behind each individual photo. Let's see if they're actually doing that. Here we go, ACV gummies, basic. I would give this an F. They're not setting the alt text of their photos. Big mistake. Uh, the power of this product is not winning because of the listing optimization. It's winning because they're the dominant player uh, and they're in all the stores and you can pick this up at Walmart and Target and all that good stuff. So this gets a B minus uh, and that's probably being generous based on the fact that there's no crawlable text and no SEO value pretty much at all for any of this A plus content. Additionally, they are missing the brand story module. That's kind of a big miss. Uh, if you haven't done the brand story module, that is such an easy, great layup to do on your account. I'm going to show you how to get to this section. Just because it's so new, a lot of people don't realize how important it is. You go to Advertising, A-plus Content Manager. On the left, the basic, that's your normal five modules for A-plus content. On the right here, you can hit Create Brand Story. This will pull up the module. You, you, can, you can select different carousels, a background image, some header, some text that goes in there, uh, and add additional modules and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you what this ends up looking like. I'm gonna to go to one of my products for Age of Sage. We're gonna click on, let's do the new Mommy for 2022. Uh, this product's on, by the way, super discount right now because we haven't been able to move this. As we scroll down, here's what the brand story could look like. Uh, and, and you've got lots of text here. 
Uh, you can have all these other cross-pollinated products and you can click on them, see how I can increase my average order value. I can click on this product right here, boom, I'm on the next listing. That's kind of a big deal, super helpful. Uh, and then down on the A-plus content, here's what all of this A-plus content could have looked like if they increased the text. Notice how this is still a very beautiful A-plus content, big images, just like Goalie did, but also has lots of text with A-plus content, keywords rich, and every single photo has alt text with 100 characters. I'll show you here. Let's hit inspect on this image. I accidentally clicked on it. Let's try that one more time. Each one of these photos, alt text of 100 characters, and we can put Spanish and other various different things and uh, gift basket women, but no spaces because sometimes people type stuff in like that a little oddly. Um, great place to put run on sentences, other difficult things. In here, look at the product grid. See how we have various different things that have uh, cross-linking products. This is also a very core thing. No listing would get an A from me unless they had a product grid where you can cross-pollinate other products unless you're only selling a single product or ASIN. Um, I'll give you a little pass on that. But for the most part, there's so many different things you can cross-pollinate and say what it's made of, what it's used for. I can link to all these different things and it takes up a lot of space, which then pushes down all of these other products that are competitor products. Nobody wants to see competitor products on their own Amazon listing. Those are bad. We don't want to see those. So push those down by taking up as much space as possible when you're optimizing your listing. All right, so that's what I don't like about Goalie. We spent 15 minutes just talking about them because these guys are the best. They're the best in class. But here's the thing. If you want to grow your sales, don't compare the listing optimization to the best. Go take their keywords. Go download their Cerebra report and figure out like what needs to be done. Look at their keyword word frequency chart up here on the right where you can see all the things that they're really focused on. So wait and pills, and loss, and fat, and detox, those are the reasons and the features that you really need to circulate, although sometimes putting weight and loss can be troublesome. Let's go back to the main list here. Here are the other products. We're going to avoid some of the sponsored products. We're going to go to the top organic ones. So this guy, he's number 2,700 in house and household. Uh, this one's 710. Goalie number 21 there, which is obviously the juggernaut that we just went over. 1600 on this guy. So these are three listings, all of which have very high rankings and are all worthwhile running the same exercise. So let's do just that. What do you notice? They've got the gummies right on top of the image. They did the same thing with the tight croppings, but their secondary images, a little bland. Got the same thing showed twice, basically with one just minor difference between the bottom layer here and a couple different things that they say. But this is very much show don't tell, and you need to um, do. You need to show and don't tell, and this is telling, not showing, and that's a problem. I do like the nice touch with the apple slice, but it's so barren. There's not a lot going on here. You see the same thing, basically three images in a row. Absolute hot garbage. I give this a C minus. Uh, and the photo they have of the women, it's smiling, great, no no problem, but not looking at the camera, not even holding the product, just holding an apple. Like okay. I get it, but that's just not sufficient. They do show me that, okay, I got the gummy in my hand, but this could be, like, this is just bare minimum, right? Like, just put the gummy on the tongue and show me the shot that I talked about in the first video, uh, first part of the video. And then here, they don't even have a video, speaking of videos. Uh, bullet points are too short. Title is still not that, that keyword-centric. Nobody types in gluten-free. Like, let me prove that. Let's go, let's look at the, let's clear the filter here. We're going to type in uh, keywords that have the word gluten in them. So phrases containing gluten and hit enter. There's 64 keywords with the word gluten. But guess what? Only, only 37 people, excuse me, 3,600 people are looking for gluten a month, which is kind of weird and probably not what we're looking for. 75,000 on gluten-free. And if we click this, what do we actually see, right? Like, what, what are people shopping for gluten-free here? It's mostly uh, breads and items and grains, right? So, like, nobody is shopping for a supplement with gluten-free. It's just totally off-brand. It doesn't make any sense. And that's not how people shop for gluten-free. They're, they're trying to avoid wheat in wheat and products. And, and so, like, I, I don't care if there's 75,000 search volume for a keyword. It's just simply not relevant. 
And I think that's a big miss on all of the major players here. So big mistake there. Uh, bullets are underdeveloped. I'd give that probably a C. Uh, that might be generous. Brand stories at least filled in for these guys. But the brand story is super off target for this particular product. And if you didn't know this, you can set the brand story unique per ASIN. So why would you show me pills on a gummy product? It just doesn't make sense, right? Like, uh, I get it. You got some scientific look here, but this product isn't scientific. Nobody freaking buys cider vinegar gummies and wants to see pills. They, they're, they're buying it because they think they're getting some sort of health benefit. They're probably not because it's a gummy, but they think they're getting some sort of benefit, but they don't want to take a pill. Like, don't show me pills on a gummy page. It's just such a big mistake. So I really think this is off-brand, off-keel, um, but I do like the format of this, and they're getting pretty close with the show me the, the pill in the mouth, but again, his eyes, they're not looking at the camera. Big mistake. He's looking at this Photoshopped bottle in his hand. It's not even a real thing. It's total Photoshop garbage. How do we get here? 40 years in the natural products, but not 40 years of marketing, that's for sure. All right, so as we scroll down here, we look at the A-plus content. Uh, it's a little shallow for my liking, uh, but at least they have some crawlable text. Very heavy on the Apple feel to it, um, but they've got, you know, like there's no interaction with the product. It's all Photoshop garbage. If we went to look at the seller, and I, you know, I want to guess these guys are probably German, but I don't know. Let's go click on uh, one-time purchase and click on the sold by. Let's see what their, their address is. Uh, and you can see that themselves. So it's a New York-based company. Um, but, you know, I just, I just get German vibes based on the name. Um, and and they, they haven't really, you know, Horbach, right? Like there's like the double dot over the A there. Um, so some sort of European, um, European side of it probably. Uh, if we look and read the text, it'd probably tell us to, but, uh, okay. So they got an FDA disclaimer. They got the warning on there. Do they have the alt text on the A plus content? They don't, they, they just filled in some hot garbage. So, so like this A plus content, it's total garbage. Like I just, I, I can't even believe these companies that make millions of dollars are producing this garbage and not doing anything with it. All right. One thing I haven't talked about yet, it's called the list price. So see how this listing, 940 with a strike through down to 799. List price is a really important thing to fill out. It's something that Amazon was trying to steer away for for like five years. But in 2020, they came back with it. They're really pushing it. They're even sending emails to you to sign up uh, for your list price and assign it in the category. If we look at the all-time prices of this product, you'll see that they these guys launched in 2020 at 10 bucks. Uh, and they really maintained it for a solid time period. Started to go up in uh, the Christmas rush, and then January hit, and wow. Usually, you don't see discounts in January for supplements. So that means this product is oversaturated in the listing, uh, and, and it's very hard to optimize a product in an oversaturated saturated market. These guys are at the end of the spectrum. They went down as low as $6.00 for crying out loud, back in April of 2022. Um, and you can see they're just really struggling here. Uh, but they're still 2,000, 3,000 sales rank. You're obviously moving a lot of units, but um, nonetheless. So list price, this is a great way to get a strike through to improve conversion rate. This is MSRP, manufacturer suggested retail price. Totally a made up number, super easy to fill in. You just go to the inventory page of Amazon. You click on edit of any product in the back end. That'll pull up this page. You defaultly land on offer. This uh, list price will show up in both offer or the more detail section, depending on your category. And right here, you can see list price. You can fill it in right there. I usually recommend somewhere around 20% or less of your sale price. So if you're selling this product at you know, $10, the list price should be no greater than 12 to give you some context. If you go higher than that, I don't think list price will show up on the listing unless the product itself has sold for more than that in the past. And in this case, it has. Um, so these guys could probably move the list price as high as $11.99. Doesn't mean it will show, but if you go higher than 20%, usually list price won't show. So these guys have that on there. I think that's a big deal. 
Um, they are missing the small business badge on the page, and that's something you can apply for. I have a video on small business badge. Just Google my Amazon guy small business badge. You'll find that, no problem. Um, all right, so we spent a lot of time on this listing. Let's look at their keyword density um, and get an idea of what they're doing here and see how they're doing. But most for, mostly of these products have done really good with their main images and they've ridden almost all of their success with that. Notice here how these guys have zero sponsored products, 4,100 organic keywords. This is more in line with what I expected after looking at the Golly listing. So the fact is you can have a product with, with uh, the top 2,000 of all of health and run zero ads and, and index only for 4,100 keywords. It's actually really phenomenal. However, I don't think these guys are making money. I think they have a high stock position and, and they're probably making like 50 cents a bottle and they're turning through a ton of product. So it's a very complicated, difficult, high uh, competition category. And so when you're optimizing your listing, they really need to take it to the next level to make up some of these deficits. And if we look at it, um, their ranking itself is faltering. So we get down to rank 50, they're already in position three. And for a listing in the top 2000, that's just kind of unusual. If we look at their strike zone keywords op opportunity in the rank 20 through 50, 600 opportunities here. If we sort this by search volume, we'll see what they're doing. So we got kind of the misspelling of golly there, Gallo, which is kind of weird. I don't, maybe that's another brand. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Nope, it's just a misspelling of golly. So a lot of people misspell golly. Jeez Louise, uh, pretty much half of the people looking for golly misspell it. Um, well, wait, wait a minute. Actually, more people misspell Gallo versus golly here. That's super weird. ACV gummies. So that's like the acronym. Um, and so like, here's a great keyword example, rank 39, 10,000 people search this a month. Is there an exact match for ACV on this listing? Let's see it. And as we scroll through right smack dab in the title, but they went with the word supplement. What they should have done is probably done ACV gummies, get the exact match, rotate out the word supplement. People, I, you know, I bet you there's probably not very much supplement um, opportunity. So if we type in supplement here, how many, how many of their keywords? Seven in their strike zone, nothing more than a 413 search volume. Not important. Supplement, not a big deal. ACV supplement, which is what they have the exact match for. Only 31 people a month are searching that. So that's garbage. You shouldn't be doing that. That title needs to update and chase the gummies, right? Like the gummies is where everything is at in this. So is the weight loss, but uh, a little risky on that as we've kind of talked about. But you can see the volume just backs that up, right? Apple cider vinegar gummies with the mother. What the heck does with the mother mean? So let's click that. Maybe that's a brand name. I don't know. As we scroll through, who who is with the mother? Like, why is there an autocomplete with the mother? Okay. Gummies with the is that is that a brand name? Is that why we're seeing this? I'm so confused. What is this? So CK Tusky, what weird names with the mother. What, what is with the mother? Like what is going on with this? I'm so confused. Um, so, so this is what op listing optimization is all about, right? You look at these poop pills, poop pills, guys, we've got poop pills on the radar, right? Like does this help you poop? I don't know, but should you have poop referenced on the listing? Probably, right? Nobody's talking about poop on the listing though. That's, that's an opportunity right there. And, and, and some of you who probably think this video is crazy by now, but you've been holding with, held me with, with 28 minutes in already. You might as well stick around for the rest of this. Inspect the element. Here's where I would stick poop pills right here right behind the scenes, because guess what? Nobody's brave enough to do poop pills, which means you're brave enough to do poop pills because you wouldn't be watching this video unless you were looking for aggressive listing optimization tactics, which is why I know half of you who sell in supplements right now are probably going to go to your back end right now and just type poop pills in. Just embrace it. It'll work out. I promise you. Skinny gummies, that's another weird one, but not as weird as poop pills. There's a lot more in this list that they could have put into the title, put behind the scenes, uh, and lots of misspellings for gully. I would absolutely put every misspelling for gully in the back end of my search terms, as well as the alt text, because clearly you can ride that. Don't go for the exact match on the competitor brand name. Avoid the trademark iteration. Um, you don't want to deal with that. But uh, policing on that's pretty low, by the way. Pretty low risk stuff if you end up doing it. All right. So we looked at that. Let's go to the next listing. 
Uh, I think we're to this one now. So this is the Orphic Nutrition listing. They didn't put the gummy to the side. That's a mistake. But they do have a picture of an apple on it. I like that. Um, here's a significantly stronger image in comparison. We're seeing all these gummies. I think this would have been a better main image. Swap these two, and then and then you got the graphics on the side. All right, so we've learned nothing about this product between these shots. Okay, 1,000 mg, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I used to sell, uh, I had a client with hemp products, and it was this giant race for the th the biggest MG you could possibly get. The consumer doesn't care about MG. I mean, they, I, I'll give you, like, they see big numbers, and it means something. But um, here you go, 1,000 MG, but it says 500 MG right there. You got, like, a discredited information for the science because it's, like, totally opposite what it says on the listing. Nobody with detail orientation uh, at this company, they didn't catch that. All right, let's keep going. So you got the vitamin B12. At least you show the emoji and the beet juice like that. And geez, Louise, who likes beet juice with their apple cider venom or gummy? That's not going to taste good. Pomegranate, now we're talking. That's going to taste a little bit better. But um, I just feel like they could have shown me some beets. They could have showed me some pomegranates. They got the emoji, but it's a little weak sauce. Like, show me the actual fruit, right? You, you did the job over here where you're showing the apples, uh, and you even showed me like the browning apple. You're like trying to show me how realistic this product is, but like it's still a Photoshop job. Everybody knows it, right? Like nobody actually took a photo of a person with this product using it. That's a problem. I think you could do better. Here's one way you could do a supplement facts image is by trying to spice it up a little bit and like showcasing a couple of features. This is probably the best supplements facts image we've seen. But overall, this listing is total garbage, C minus, total garbage, right? Now, if we go to the title, though, nobody searches 1,000 MG. Nobody cares. Formulated to support weight loss. So here we go. This is These guys are embracing the weight loss angle. And I'm curious, did that prevent them from doing advertisement? So let's go over and find out. Let's go over to Cerebro. Let's see if these guys are advertising. While that loads, let's look at their history um, so these guys have been pretty static. So what's interesting here is these guys have not moved on pricing. They had some stock out events in April. You can see those blue chart where it goes blank. That means a stock out. Um, you got goalie advertising straight on the listing right there. Uh, they're, they're the dominant player just taking ownership. 244 keywords are advertised on, 8,000 organic indexed. So this listing uh, is, is beating the other, the second one we looked at. Um, on indexing by a long shot and they're absolutely going for weight management now they have an asterisk here generally speaking when there's an asterisk they're backing up an asterisk with the claim so it's probably going to be explained somewhere on the listing and i'm going to scroll down towards the bottom to see if we can find it didn't see it but we have this asterisk mentioned in multiple locations which is kind of further proof to what i was talking about earlier where uh okay so we're getting down to the legal disclaimer uh, not evaluated by the FDA or health condition. So when do they explain the actual health weight loss? Uh, not evaluated. Each serving maintains healthy weight. Taking these apple cider. Okay, so they're, they're probably living on the edge here. They've probably had a listing yank before. Maybe that stock out event in April was actually a listing yank instead of a stock out because we don't see it like start to slowly go up. Kind of like this. This is more of what you would see in a stock out event. It just went total blank. So maybe what happens, they got yanked in March 24th, went back online April 14th, and then boom, they're off to the races. Um, so this is why the weight loss claim is tricky because you have to have documentation. So I bet if we looked at their listing from earlier this year, they didn't have all these asterisks around. Very common in sort of uh, uh, the, the health category. Um, I'm just noticing that these guys have a subscribe and save. I have to go back and check to see if the other ones did as well. I'm kind of curious now. Let's scroll to the top. They got subscribe and save. I'm pretty sure all of them are going to have it. Let's take a look at Golly real quick. They've got subscribe and save. They're offering 10 and 15%. These guys are offering... Can't even tell if they're offering a discount. And then these guys are not. And then let's go back to the listing we're working on. 
These guys have a five and a 10. So, so these guys are going for more of the premium play. They're not offering discounts very much. The subscribe and save is a little bit on the low side. Most products these days, by the way, are automatically enrolled in subscribe and save. They're not necessarily um, things you can do to improve your odds at that, but don't go out of stock. That's the number one way. You have to have 90 days of data for them to enable subscribe and save typically, um, or at least have proof you have 90 days of stock. You might get subscribe and save earlier than 90 days on a product launch, but very difficult to maintain it if you go out of stock over that 90 day course. Also, if you come back in stock when you have subscribe and save, those are the first shipments that are going to go out the door and they're automatically going to ship. And those are sales that are just kind of waiting around for you. Um, these guys have a coupon though. So I talked a little bit about how a little bit more premium take on the pricing and that's a pretty high price. One, two, three, four though. They got the little uh, run on pricing there, which is interesting. But the coupon here for an extra buck, that's very different. We haven't seen that on the other listings so far. Orf Orfric uh, Nutrition uh, and they've got some angle with that. Bullet points, a little bit on the short side, even though they are very, very aggressive on the weight loss angle. Um, they don't have the brand story. That's a big miss. We've talked about that. Big images, they look very nice, aesthetically pleasing, but there's no crawlable text. And if you're going to talk about weight loss and you got all this text about it, why not go all in? Like your, your, your keyword indexing and data, you're going in for the weight loss and your competitors are, you might as well embrace it, right? Like 1,700 of the keywords talk about weight, 1,500 talk about loss. So like your A plus content, should you just be all in, all over this weight loss angle and really chasing and going after it? A plus content, when you do listing optimization, big images, lots of text, fill out as much space as you possibly can and make sure you put keywords behind each photo's alt text, including Spanish, including all of those benefits. Um, they've got the recycling symbol on there, hiding in there. That's pretty good. I really like these guys' uh, product grid. This one's really strong because we can get the additional flavors here. Elderberry, lots. Of, that's very intuitive right now, uh, very in rather, um, and, and off to the races, right? This is a product grid done well. I give these guys an A on the product grid. Big photos, lots of jar uh, imagery, links correctly. Um, talks about all the different things, supports heart health, helps with low energy, supports immune system. And they got check marks based on which product does what. So if you're looking for the right product, uh, may reduce appetite. There's a nice little check mark there, right? So that's how they're getting their asterisks around. Most likely is they're, they're uh, relating it to this, but we don't see any backup to the claims. And that's probably where they got yanked my speculation back in the March, April timeframes. Um, all right. So Overall, these guys are doing better than the second guy, but they lack the focus. They lack the imagery and the and 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 the customer avatar angle, uh, and they don't show the product in use and the lifestyle beyond this one one picture of a woman. But everything else is just apples, 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 right? And then there's this bottle of what looks like vinegar, but I'm not 100 percent sure, right? So like, there's some. There's some loss in there, although the Photoshop job, yeah, it's okay. But like, I don't know if I would go with the blurry uh, vinegar gummies just like randomly tossed around. Not sure how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, so these guys overall, probably a C plus, everything said and done. They could dramatically improve their listing here. On our next listing here, these guys are the number one bestseller in all of green tea herbal supplements. Uh, and they're still, I believe, an apple cider vinegar gummy, but they're getting the green tea element. So they probably have some green tea in here, but it's not abundantly clear. I'm not really sure. Key ingredients, there's the green tea, I guess. Um, so that's interesting. This kind of looks like the sort of thing you'd pick up at Costco. It's a $20 version, so it's higher priced. What I really hate about this listing, though, is the parentage. See how there's some out-of-stock options here? Like, they need to break the parentage up. They need to not put inactive versions of a product. This is a very poor optimization of parentage. They need to go sign up for the Mag School parentage class because when you click on this and you see these various different options, the consumer is so off put by this 
they, they end up losing some conversion points here. This is a serious problem. Never allow inactive variations. You're better off separating a dual parentage like this and going for the single parentage. They probably should break the 120 from the 60 here and, and do the one and the two pack and the three pack independently on each of those variations. Also, if we look very closely here, we might notice um, some misnaming or some conventions that just don't make sense. Like they go from 61, 20, 80, 243, 60. Like I don't know why they would do it this way. Like the count and the three pack, it's just a giant hot mess. Um, really takes away from some of the things that these guys probably do correct. We'll notice again, these guys have a nice strong main image. Uh, almost everyone that's doing well in this category has really focused most of their time and attention onto the main image for, for rightful causes. Uh, as we scroll through here, digestion, metabolism, energy, immune health, wellness, they're, they're telling me instead of showing me, I don't like that. A little bit nicer of a supplements facts, like they've got the roll around on the box here, so that's kind of nice. What I don't see, though, is the barcode, which is kind of interesting. So with F and SKU barcodes on a cylinder item, you need to have that label vertical. If you fail to do that, Amazon's going to charge you to relabel it. So I just saved some guy in the comments uh, a bunch of money. So add, add a comment here if I just saved you money. Vertical label. I've got a really cool uh, video on how to do all of the barcodes. Just type into Google barcodes, my Amazon guy. You'll find my full guide on, on, on UPC labels. Key ingredients. I really like this. This is super colorful. Um, they did a really good job with this explaining like this is show not tell like this is exactly what I'm asking for when we talk about it. I don't really know what lactospore probiotics is though. That's a pretty confusing thing and they've got like an R symbol next to it. So they're totally making this up, right? Like nobody knows what lactospore does. What the heck does that mean, right? Obviously, they're going to make some claim about like it helping put it together in the right mix of supplements, but none of this actually makes an impact. Right. Like these are the, that's the thing about supplements in the United States. Everybody makes these claims, but they're total garbage usually. Um, all right. So supplements facts. So we got, they, they put it in here twice. Right. So like that's just like a negative. Right. Like you're, you're taking away space, but they do get the nice shot of a woman looking at the camera and smiling. But it has nothing to do with the product. They're not like why not have the product like, you know, using it as a lifting thing or something. Um, no product of the product being used, no shot of the actual gummies anywhere in the secondary image stack. Um, I just think this is probably the least optimized listing we've looked at because of that. Um, and then when you add in the parentage, it's just, it just gets really bad. I, I think this is a D plus overall listing um, as we go through here. And, and the, the lactospore, like who, who is searching lactospore? Like nobody knows what that is. Um, and pre, prebiotics to support digestion, metabolism, immune health, force factor. What, what does force factor even mean, right? Like if we control C and control V that, where, okay, that's the brand name. Okay, sh okay, sure. Okay, force factor for the brand name, right? But like, I don't even know if I'd put it in your title at this point, right? Like that doesn't do anything for you. You're supposed to put the brand name in the title, but most people don't. Um, as we go through the bullets, a little bit better bullets than we've seen in the last two listings. Uh, benefits, I like the all caps up front. I might, you know, because there's an Apple emoji, I probably would do Apple emojis on the listing because it's on brand with what you're selling. People who are going to buy a gummy, they like emojis, right? Like those, the people that buy gummies are going to be on Instagram. People that are on Instagram, they're going to like emojis. You've really got to embrace your customer avatar here. And it's very clear to me that none of these brands we've looked at, except maybe Gully, actually knows who their brand customer avatar is by any stretch. Um, so here's a really interesting thing. These guys have never loaded their list price. That's a mistake because if you ha if you have the list price, you can get that strike through opportunity up here. Completely absent. Big miss on their part. Um, but we can see uh, these guys are relatively newcomers on the scene. So they're in the top 1600 right now, but only for the last three months. Um, you know, if we look at the all time here, this product got launched basically a year ago to the day back in 2021 of July. Um, and they really started to get some movement in mid-August, right? So, so these guys stormed the market. They probably spent a bazillion dollars on PPC, and that's how they got where they are. But they're missing the brand story. They don't have that. Uh, this photo catches my... Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Remember how I talked about this all video long. Show me with it in your mouth. Now, the one thing I wish they would have done 
is stuck her tongue out, right? Like that was the big miss here. But this is like an A minus. It would be the A plus if she just had her tongue stuck out, right? Because what what does it talk about here? It doesn't talk about taste. They're putting it in her mouth and they don't talk about taste. How can you optimize a listing like this and not talk about taste and show me the taste? Like put it in the mouth, put it on the tongue, make me want to eat it. Now with that said, this, this photo does make me want to eat it. So it does get across the finish line, but what a missed opportunity. All right, so here's another shot. They had they had two of them, but they didn't give me the tongue. At least they are looking at the camera and they got the nice teeth. Isn't it interesting that this photo, though, caught my attention before this one? Um, so clearly if we A-B tested this, and, and I'm a brunette guy. My wife's a brunette. But, like, if we A-B tested the blonde versus the brunette here, which one's going to win? And why in the heck is are they not in the top up there? Like, why would you put the best photos in the A-plus content and not have it in the secondary image stack where everybody actually looks at things? Like, nobody shops in the A-plus content, right? Like, only somebody looking at the A-plus content is looking at it for spec sheets, right? Which they don't even have. They don't have a product grid comparing contrasting products and going back and forth. Um, and here's the incredible value, right? Like what, who, nobody cares about value when they're buying supplements. They just want taste. They just want taste and they want features, but they don't care about value. People are dropping thousands of dollars on supplements because they'd rather buy a supplement than, than work out, right? They don't want, and maybe some people are buying supplements and working out, but by and large, 80% of people that buy supplements, they're just buying it because they don't want to work out and they're lazy and they don't go out and walk 10,000 steps a day, which is, by the way, there's your PSA today. Walk 10,000 steps a day. If you haven't taken 10,000 steps today, you need to get off your butt. All right, so A-plus content here. We've got various different things. They've got at least a lot of text and crawlable. That's getting some A-plus content indexing going. Let's look at a photo. These guys are the first guys to actually set alt text that actually makes sense, but they're not a full 100 characters. I'm going to give these guys a B plus on the A, a plus content because at least they set lots of SEO value and they got the shots that I really like. But if you wanted to go from a B plus to an A, you need that brand story, which they're missing, which goes above the A plus content. And they need to have the tongue shot and they need to do a little bit more explanation on this lactospore stuff. Resilient probiotic is insulated from the harsh acidic. Like, what the frick does that mean? Like, science, like, needs to be dumbed down for, like, a fifth grader level, right? Like, I need to understand, like, why I'm taking my vitamin. Um, and I'm probably just taking it because it's trendy and it tastes good, right? Like, nobody is taking this for the science. Like, nobody is ever taking a gummy for the science. So you better focus entirely on taste. Know your customer avatar. Know who you're targeting, right? Like, like this is, people love the taste of apples. They think if you eat an apple, it keeps the doctor away. But they're not keeping the doctor away. You're eating gummies. So it doesn't make sense at all. Um, but I really do like a lot of the things that they have going on in their A-plus content. Makes up for their really crappy uh, secondary images with a wasted slot with the supplements facts. And this photo is probably the best shot of their secondary images up here. And this one's completely used. Like, what the frick are they doing? Why wouldn't you show me show me the brunette or show me the blonde up there? Such a miss. Such a, such a miss. All right, so that's that listing there. We got to go look at the keywords, though. Let's go see how they're doing on their indexing. My bet, I'm going to bet 7,200. Probably a little aggressive on my part, but I really like the A-plus content. Let's, so, so let's see how I did. 5,300. I was a little bit off, but... Um, they did as well as the other three listings, which is, you know, fair, uh, 2000 on the sponsor. These guys are pretty dang close to my, uh, golden ratio of keywords where it's one sponsored keyword for two organic. So I got to give these guys props for that. Um, so, you know, these, this listing's growing on me, even though they really jacked up the secondary images. Um, so if we look at these guys and we look at the organic rank 20 through 50, because anytime you do listing optimization, you really ought to be, especially if it's a, a mature listing, you really need to look at that strike zone keyword opportunity. So there's 700 keywords here. Let's sort this by search volume. Look for the best thing we can get. They're at rank 20 for the apple cider vinegar gummy. Uh, keto gummies for weight loss at organic rank 25. I didn't see that one coming. Let's see if they have the word keto on the listing. Uh, and verdict is, so there's two things on here with keto, but I'm not sure where they're showing up. I'm not seeing it anywhere. So it's probably like some sponsored product somewhere on the page. Uh, I don't see keto anywhere in the listing. So here's, here's the opportunity. If I was these guys and keto was a word, 
and it's in 700 of their words. Holy crap. How could you have 700 keywords out of your distribution and not be focused on keto? Like what a, what an opportunity with that, right? Am I looking at the right? Okay, here we go. Uh, so, so 61. Okay. So, so I, I actually cross contaminated. This is the other listing. Let's go back to this one for a second. Let's go to keto on this one. So nobody's focused on keto, but the data clearly says they need to focus on keto. 700 words on, on the, on that, that listing right there. This one has 61. Although if I get rid of the filter, I bet it's going to go up. Let's see how much is in keto. Uh, 573. So, so everybody is ignoring keto and, and they're focusing on like vegan and they're focusing on all this other garbage that they shouldn't be focusing on. But like clearly when you optimize the listing, you need to know what the keyword volumes are here and keto like clearly is where they need to be. So if we just went and looked at phrases containing the word keto here, we'd have some interesting things. And my, my three-year-old daughter, she just walked in with a, a wolf shot and she wants me to read some, some books, but you guys got to see my cute daughter here. Oh, check this out. We'll go to full screen. She wants me to brush her teeth and read some stories here. So are you the big bad wolf? I think you are. Yeah, look at her smile there. Look at her smile. She's such a cutie. All right, guys, I guess I got to go do some bedtime. So that's my listing optimization video. Give me a like. Hit me in the comments with the one thing you learned. And if you want to help me with the SEO, write in the comments, listing optimization. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm joined by my co-host, Sage, and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy.